I first started working with DART as a summer intern. It was more just trailing along behind the safety officer and just standing back and looking at everything in awe, in a sense. Uh, that was an amazing experience and that's what has kind of kept me in this field and I've been coming back and working with DART every summer since. When I first came to DART, I was actually in the last phase of completing my master's, so I was given the opportunity to do that. It was such an exciting opportunity and every day still is an exciting opportunity because you never know what's going to be next. The biggest part of it was career progression. A lot of potential, a lot of places to go with my career. So it didn't take me very long to decide to join DART. Uh, living in Scotland at the time and so the weather um, isn't very good. A great location, beautiful island, the lifestyle opportunity, but also the fact that I wanted to be able to progress my career. DART seemed like the right kind of organisation to do that. When I started here at DART, I was already in the process of sitting my CPA exams. I spoke to my boss, Chris, about um, the exams and where I was so far. At that point, I hadn't passed any exams, um, but he was really supportive. Now, now I'm a CPA. Since working with the company, I've noticed that DART truly does care for his employees and they really coached me and they saw how much I loved art and they pushed me more in a architectural background. The range of projects that the business has that's going to go on for, for literally decades and so there's job security there as well. They were, they were me, they were a part of me. It was a very good feeling to work with people like that, people who actually cared about you. Starting out in document control gave me a pretty good idea as of what is done behind the desk. Having a good understanding of that really helps me now in my career choice. Probably got the reputation that I was a fixer. As a result, I, I have had multiple opportunities within DART, varying opportunities. So it just gave me a broad brush of everything that was going on. So coming into this role, I was already very aware. I've never done real estate before. I'd never been in that type of a profession, but I already knew Kamana Bay, like it was back in my hand. I had already done all the events here. I knew most of the tenants that are here because I worked closely with them. So it was a very good step, to be honest, because I had gone from helping them attract customers to helping Kamana Bay attract more tenants. I knew that I wanted to stay within the company. Leaving DART wasn't a question for me. Um, and that's one of the great things about DART is that it's, you can change careers and explore it started to evolve to where there really was a synergy. The kind of customer service that I was doing in events is totally relevant to what I'm doing now in my job. It all kind of came over and I think it ended up being a really great transition and I'm enjoying my new career. Continuing education was definitely a part of my career progression because when I first started out, I was coming straight out of high school, had absolutely no idea what was going on. Before, when I went to college, I studied architectural engineering and then did a minor in construction engineering. I've spoken with a lot of the, obviously in the construction industry, QS guys, the safety guys, the construction engineers, the project managers. So I got a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do. So it made it pretty easy for me to know what course of studies I should take. I'm still not done, still have a long way to go, but slowly but surely. When you hire someone, you, you hire them for their strengths. Focus on their strengths. Don't focus on opportunities that someone has. Figure out how to get the most out of that something. DART absolutely helped me 100% of the way. They paid for the courses, they paid for my trip to Miami, and uh, not just financial support, but I got the time out of the office in order to study, and I didn't have to feel guilty about that. It was a very long exam. It was a very involved course, but I did it, and I feel so accomplished, and I feel great, and I feel prepared for my new job. It was a wow factor, I guess, for me, because I had never before in my career been asked from a vice president or anyone um, in, the, in an executive team, like my opinion on how I'd handle a consolidation. So I thought that my opinion actually really mattered. You keep taking it on and taking it on and people recognize you for not only taking it on, but getting it done. And not necessarily was it perfect, um, but actually doing it and people help you along the way to make it better. Once I got to leasing they were very like the vice president who was here and my current colleague have been very great at teaching me have been very supportive and also just making sure that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the broad experience we have from our people throughout the organization the experience they bring with them um, 
we can all learn so much from that. There's so many opportunities within the company. I don't think I'm done yet. What's next? Hmm. What is next? <laughs>